All right, well, I'm going to continue my single player file for a bit. Um, the whole beginner playthrough thingy. So, I mean, yeah. All right. So, let's take a look at where I'm at. And I guess make plans accordingly. Okay, um, I mean, relationship-wise, they're kind of they're equal. I'll look at the calendar today and see what's coming up. So I'm going to do that with the wiki. But I'll plan ahead. So this week, Pam and Shane have birthdays. Okay. We'll deal with that later. There's no events. The next event is the flower dance, which is like a while away. Okay. So at this point, at this point, I have an ax being upgraded. Um, so, you know, there's a choice between what you can do. You can go pickaxe, uh, axe, watering can. Generally, at least what I've seen, people lean more towards pickaxe or axe. It just depends what you want to do. Um, the watering can, you kind of have to plan ahead. You have to go, well, is there going to be a rainy day next day? That's typically the time to do it, the day beforehand. So then you don't miss out on watering your crops. Or you can choose to just kind of sacrifice a couple days where they don't get watered. Um, because I'm doing a small farm, having a watering can that's upgraded is not that big a deal. Um, being able to cut down more trees is probably a bigger thing for me. Um, and then, you know, pickaxes next. Have I stopped playing Stardew multiplayer? No. Um, it's just, you know, whenever we're both free, we'll play. Like, we're not done with that playthrough at all. Just time zones. Time zones. <laughs> That's just ultimately the thing. Okay. Um, so, yeah. That's loosely what I'm doing. I mean... Just trying to think if I'm missing anything else. I got to think. Right, let's just roll with this. Weather report. It's going to rain, so... That would have been a good time to do it. Yeah, I mean, so this is a separate file that I've started in the interest of, like, having, I guess, a beginner-friendly sort of playthrough. I wanted to play Stardew, but, you know... I couldn't do multiplayer today. Or at least earlier today. So I thought about what I could do to play. Where it's like, well, it doesn't matter too much if the file doesn't go anywhere. And I figured this. And it also lets me, um... I guess test things a bit as well. I haven't played this farm layout, so... That's the other thing. That's kind of annoying, but okay. my farm small so watering can doesn't really need to get upgraded too much all right uh what have i got in terms of seeds if anything i got carrots let's plant some carrots um again that's fine just do that got robin's lost axe this 
Tartu is sweet better than Animal Crossing. Uh, to one's own taste. I like both games. They have their strengths and weaknesses. Okay, um... So I'll sell one green bean, and then I'll keep the other. Salmon berry, I'm going to sell one. And then I'll keep the others. So salmon berry is like another source of food. Um, you can sell them. But I keep them as a source of food. Early on. Sometimes there's also a bundle. Where you need to collect a bunch of them. It's not here this time, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, um... I'm just thinking what else I'm gonna do today. I mean, right now my axe is being upgraded, so I'm probably just gonna fish to get more money. Uh, in terms of presents, I guess, I've been giving George presents. Um, I need to give Caroline presents as well, so... Let's have some of that ready. I don't think there's anything to deliver to the bundles. At least I don't think so. Like, I think I've been on top of that. Alright. I'll do. Oh yeah, I need bait. Because crab pots are now a thing that I've invested in. Um, and with that, I can go donate. So I'm keeping everything the crab pots give me separate. I didn't pull one up. Which one? That one. Alright, cool. Alright. So, keep that's going to get donated. Keep the trash. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna be checking here constantly. I wonder if this gets as strong as the quarry. I mean, I don't know if they've changed anything. I know that the quarry is now better than it used to be. More seeds. So, it's salmon berry day. Um, first day is probably the best day. It's really a very involved process if you want to get all of them. You can also use Scythe to harvest now, so that's nice. I'll try and get as many as I can, because I'm going to use it as a food source. It's like... going to replace spring onions, eventually. And yeah, I'm going to get them because it'll increase foraging level. I don't think I can make taps yet. I guess the lap that I do is go out the south and then kind of come down here. Also get the spring onions. And just make my way into town from there. There's Haley, so we'll do this.
Okay, so this is interesting. Um, one of the achievements in the game is to craft one of every item. So, I guess staying on top of that is a good idea. I'm gonna do it. Then I don't have to worry about it, because sometimes you forget. Um, but you can see. Wait, how have I crafted? I've crafted it once, but it counts it as 10. Okay. That's a little confusing. I haven't crafted it 10 times. I've... Because you get a pack of 10 per craft. That... Hmm. <laughs> that might be an oversight or a bug. Anyway. These ones you gotta be careful with, because they can fall in. Oh, I almost went for the trash there. I've gotta wait for him to be out of sight. That should be out of sight. I'm gonna just try and get salvage stuff today. Barging. I mean, I'm doing well collecting these seeds. My axe is not ready yet, but I'm just going to check his trash can. Because you can find ore and stuff. Sometimes he throws out a whole bars. I've seen copper bars and stuff fall out of his trash can. It's definitely worth checking. Okay, that's Caroline. I'm gonna go gift her. It's one of those important friendships because you get tea from her eventually. Neglected Harvey, <laughs> one of the friendships that takes the longest. I honestly, n yeah, it's hard because doctor's office closes early and um, he's just in there and you can't really reach him. It's something that I kind of hope they change over time, but it just has never happened, so. Alright, and first bundle from the pot. So three more crab pots, these are going to the ocean. Because there's different things you get. Um, actually, I don't have to walk over there. We can do this. Okay, that's a good one, that's nice and easy. This is the bundle that you need to get going as quick as possible, because it's like minecarts. Okay, so I did get the one that has Iridium Ore. Alright, that's not too bad. Treasure Hunter's bundle, that's pretty easy with mining. We should get all of those. Is that well, 18 is not bad. I 
Okay, I have some porridge. I guess I can go mine for a bit. The crab pots I might initially set up at home just for tonight because it's less messing around. And then tomorrow move them to the ocean. I saw, I saw it, I saw it. There we go. I'm also gonna get bugs because I can make bait. The bug guts mining went up. I do go out of my way to get bugs early on. Oh wow, it's going all the way to the bottom. Also bat wings as well. Didn't drop bug guts. Okay, there's a gift for the dwarf. These are a pain to get, but they're worth it because sometimes they can drop coal. See the fight you get Zola vibes. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I mean, the dev grew up on the Super Nintendo era, like, there's posters of Chrono Trigger and stuff in the game. Stop! Um, mystery boxes are new to 1.6, they're worth opening. They're like geodes. You go to Clint's to open them. You can get some pretty nice things out of them early on. But whilst it's a bit late now... Or Secret of Mana. Yeah. Man, Secret of Mana. That was a game I haven't done in a while. The battle music in that... bad at that game. Me too. <laughs> I'll just finish taking this thing out and then go. I think we're fine. I don't have much energy left, so... Okay. So as always, when we leave, we gift the dwarf one of these. Just easy way keep friendship going. It's only the first time. It'd be funny if, like, the dwarf thing doesn't count for anything. 
until you learn the language, but I don't know. Like, I gift them stuff. Okay, uh, let me set up the crab pots. It's just quartz anyway, it's like, it's not like that sells for much. Did I play the remake of Secret of Mana? Uh, no. I need to make bait. Yeah, I got plenty. So tonight, these are just gonna live here and then I'll change them overnight. The ocean. I've heard a lot of the Square Enix games with their remix they've done, they can be hit and miss. Um, uh, I mean, I was gonna smelt, but it's too late. Yeah, I mean, I only sold one just to get it on the board. Ah, oh, well, weeds called damage. Where, where? What? That makes no sense. What did it cause damage to? When it says that, it means one of your I uh, something got destroyed, but I'm not sure what. Um, I'm taking these away today. What got damaged? I'm not sure what got damaged. There's nothing that I can see that got damaged. You don't like the Final Fantasy remake? Um, I mean, that's... That's the thing with that. It's like, it's a different game. It's not the same game. Like, I wouldn't call it a remake, necessarily. It's like, more of a reimagining. I'm not sure what got damaged. I don't see anything. tree didn't get- I don't know what got damaged. Everything looks fine to me. I don't see anything that got lost. Weird. I mean, that just comes down to personal preference. It's like, it's an unpopular opinion in the context of personal preference. But, like, would you say it's objectively bad? I don't know. I don't think so. Like, I can look at a game that is not necessarily my style and be like, yeah, I mean, a lot of people enjoy it, but it's not for me. Yeah, so that's fine. I haven't tried it myself. What? <laughs> The last time I played a Final Fantasy game was 16 on stream, and uh, people did, didn't really watch it, so... I kinda... I enjoyed it, but as a stream game, I think... At least for my audience, it's like, mm, not many people were into it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's fair. I mean, saying you don't like it, it's okay. Okay, um, so it's raining. Today I'm going catfish fishing. Catfishing, if you will. I'm going to give Leah... I mean, they're both equal. I don't think I'm going to get any. So I think Square will remake 10. Eventually. Give anything enough time and it becomes retro enough that it gets remade. I mean, it's scary to think that some games that you feel like aren't that old... They've uh, become really old. I'm going to cleanse to open my mystery boxes. And also collect my copper axe. Unfortunately, I was just shy of, uh... That's a good one. Ten hardwood's great. Can't wait for the re-release of Skyrim. Ha. Ha ha. We actually had the, that discussion very recently. Like, do you consider Skyrim retro? And I think my answer is technically yes. Because I consider things from the PS3 era retro now. And Skyrim is a PS3 era game. Demetrius needs a seaweed. I can do that. It's kind of a strange thing to think about because we've gotten Skyrim recently. But it's not a new game. It's not remade or anything. It's kind of just repackaged. The Anniversary Edition has changes to it, sure, but, like, I wouldn't call that a remaster or a remake. You would not, but Morrowind is retro. But I guess if you say Skyrim's not retro, then would you say a game from the PlayStation 3 era is not retro? Like, the PS3 was a long time ago. <laughs> And then if you say the PS3 isn't retro, then the Wii isn't retro. The DS isn't retro. It's, it's kind of, that's, that's the thing. Like, the more I thought about it, the more I... My response is technically yes. It, like, Skyrim is like a tomato, right? It's like, a tomato is technically a fruit, but you wouldn't associate it as a fruit. And that's what Skyrim is. It's like, Skyrim is technically a retro game at this point, but you wouldn't associate it with retro games. It doesn't come to mind first. So Skyrim is a tomato. That's, that's how I'm going to put it. Skyrim is a tomato. Another mystery box. Aquamarine, which we haven't given. I mean... My inventory's kind of full. All above PS2 isn't retro. Really? So you wouldn't say the original DS is retro? It's... it's I mean... It's just one of those things that... The era that I guess you feel like was new to you... Feels like it... It isn't retro. But we're at a point in time where like... There are people that are... 18 years old now... 
that would not know the reality of, like, knowing what a PlayStation 3 is. Or wouldn't remember it. All above 2005 isn't retro. But you're almost talking about 20 years. Like, 2025 is next year. It's like, just think about that. <laughs> My own definition of retro is like two console generations ago. Because that covers like a time span of 12 years ish. Give or take. That's enough for it to be one generation gap. Like in terms of people. Like I, I'm at, at least accepting it. Because... <laughs> To, to me, there was a disconnect a little while ago where, like, the question was, when you think about a, uh, the Zelda game that existed, tw well, what was it, like, 15 years ago, what game came to mind? And to me, it was, like, the Nintendo 64 games, and it it is not. It's, like, GameCube. At best. guess retro has to do with nostalgia. Yeah, I mean, the two go hand in hand. But I guess... I see it as, if you go to a, a store where they sell used games, the odds of finding a game for that console... Like, I don't think I know anywhere that would sell a PS3 game nowadays, except maybe, like... Um... What do you call it? Like, Goodwill, an equivalent to Goodwill, or, uh, what do you call it? See, I'm, I'm thinking cash converters, but you're not going to get what cash converters is. <laughs> One of those shops where they sell, you bring in a used good and you sell it. Porn. Not poor, not pornography, but, you know, it's one of those words that you're going to be like, what, porn? Like, no, Porn. P A W N. Excuse my accent. <laughs> P A W N. Pawn. <laughs> I have to say it all weird. Today is just fishing. I want my catfish. Because one of them needs to get donated to the bundle, but also... We need to get the eel, which is another rain time fish. But that's not till the evening, so we got a little bit of time. Before I need to do that. Alright, um, I'm gonna go back. Sometimes I feel like I need to talk to how I talk to voice assistants. It's like, sometimes voice assistants won't understand my accent, and I have to, like, say it with a weird inflection that either 
enunciates it like you would if you have an American accent, or just say it just weirdly slow, so then it, it gets time to figure out what I'm saying. I'll come back for that. The first time I noticed, like, that I had to say, you know, POWN! <laughs> like that. There was, there was that show that was on TV. And so, I was asking about it. It's like, do you watch porn stars? Like, what? What are you asking me? Porn stars. POWN! Stars. Yeah. Keep the... Ah, uh, actually, I'll sell it. Um, what have we got? I guess I ought to stack the basic quality fish. Mix seeds go in here. I don't need to carry bait with me. Um, I'm gonna put... In the interest of carrying less, I'll do that. Alright. I need to go catch an eel. Also, I still can. Oh, wow, there's... I didn't even see that one. I am blind. Two words are indeed said the same. But you hear what I'm saying, right? There's porn, and there's porn. No? Do you, do you hear the difference? Porn and porn. Surely, like, come on, someone from the UK can, can back me up, right? Like, you hear what I'm saying. You know the difference between porn and porn. Porn and porn. One has more of an R, yeah. Or. It's like or, and one's orn. Or, orn. Or, orn. Porn, horn. See? You can hear it! <laughs> Don't make fun of when I say it. Gotta roll the R's. Yeah, and I'm good at that. I thankfully speak a language that allows me to roll my R's. Porn! And porn. That can't be good for the algorithm, like, just... It figuring out the subtitles to this video is just like, why is he saying porn repeatedly? Surely this video must be about that, okay. Demonetize to the bottom. <laughs> okay, there's the eel. Rep YouTube video. So the eels are not worth a lot of money. But you need two. One to donate, and one because there's a recipe. So I'm going to try and catch a second one. But that does it for the spring exclusive fish, excluding legend. Which, it's like highly situational whether or not I'll get it. There we go. another catfish. It's just every time I they have this discussion of like how I pronounce stuff. I just feel like that episode of The Simpsons where 
just Joe Quimby's nephew. Just keeps making fun of that French waiter. How he pronounces chowder. It's chowder! Not chowder! Chowder! Say it again! Chowder. It's chowder! Um, or I guess if I'm not gonna make like an old millennial reference, um, they're selling chocolate, you know, that episode of SpongeBob where they sell chocolate. What? Chocolate. All right, there you go. That's a more up-to-date reference. I don't really know Zuma references other than Skibbity Toilet, but that's like on the knife edge. Of, like, what I know. Shaldale. Okay, and back in Stardew, always be smelting. Oh, I can make two iron. I'll make two iron bars. Okay, so put these away. I have to take one to donate. Alright. You know the Simpsons, but not Spongebob. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't necessarily... I'm sure there's a possibility of people being in the age bracket of like 20 years to 30 years not knowing Spongebob. That's possible. So check Queen of Sauce. Sunny day. Okay. But the fishing, at least for exclusive fish, is all sorted. Um, I can't make taps yet, but at least I'm preparing for that. Okay, um, take a, another five bars. Everyone's heard about SpongeBob. I'm sure you, like, you can have heard about it, but not necessarily have watched it. Like, if they don't know about the chocolate episode, well then, yeah. They're not going to know. Chocolate! You never watched it? Or do you fit in that age group of like 20 to 30 years old? Oh, cool. These are done. Um, what am I gonna... I guess donate that, but, like, what am I gonna put in their place? Because, again, I'm not really focusing on... farming too much? Uh, again, the rule. Hang on to one, donate one. But with cauliflower, I'd keep an extra because there's a bunch of cauliflower-related stuff. Um, these can go. I have mixed seeds, actually. The only danger with mixed seeds at this point is because if we get a cauliflower seed, it's going to be pointless. So I'm going to save the mixed seeds for next season and stick with, um, the carrot seeds. I've gotten away with not purchasing anything from Pierre's other than a couple of things. I can't remember when it started running. Spongebob? It was like early 2000s, if I'm not wrong. Ninety nine, close. Close enough. I mean, mind you, it started in America in ninety nine. It probably reached Australia in like the two thousands. So I guess that's the thing, is like I'm basing it off when I remember seeing it. Oh, 
probably had something else to do. Well, I mean, it also depends what it aired on. Because here it was on cable. So it was, it was not an easy thing to watch. By any means. Okay, we have a birthday, don't we? It's tomorrow. Pam's birthday tomorrow. Just making sure I'm on top of this stuff. Um, today we need to deliver Demetrius a... Um, ba -ba -ba seaweed. I'm gonna make myself a field snack. Put the watering can back. Um... Take five. Although, hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking if I want the pickaxe or not. I kind of do. And then I'll leave it there for a little while. Okay. Put that in there. I think I can make a recycler. I can make a recycler. Okay, cool. I'll make a recycler to get started on that. The stone, that, and we have a recycler. One is enough to begin with, because you do get another one for free later. And with this, you just beat it. Beat it. I'm going to put it here. All right, let's head out. I think I've gotten everything I want. I mean, SpongeBob, because at the time when it was airing, I was at my, my grandma's house, so they had cable. And it was on at 3 in the morning for some weird reason. So, I mean, I was sleeping on a fold-out sofa that was broken. So sometimes I couldn't sleep. I, like, it would dig into my back. So it'd be a thing where I slept on the floor sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Spongebob was on late. <laughs> so, that's how... I didn't watch a lot of it, but that's when I watched some of it, so... There was weird stuff on at that hour. It was like... This old kids show from the 70s. I don't even remember it properly, but... It just looked weird. And then they had classic Hanna-Barbera stuff. Wait, what the hell? Pot of gold? The fuck? What? Uh, what? What do you mean, pot of gold? I have not seen this before. Okay, that's new. <laughs> that's awesome. 17th sunny day. Man, all right. Well, that's that's new. I'm doing a salmon berry run because I missed it yesterday, so this should be a lot today. If you skip a day, it'll add up. Um, have I gifted Leah today? Yesterday? I have. Okay. I'll just talk to it. Okay, it's at gold. So I guess we're going with Leah for the spring dance. 
Damn. Oops, I'm like walking into shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's new or it's been a while, but I, the first time I'm seeing it. For context, I'm playing this not too long after 1.6 came out. Oh, I forgot Demetrius Seaweed. I already found one for the prom. <laughs> That's such an American thing. We don't have that here, but I know what it is. Um, pickaxe. Instead, we had this weird thing. It's like called a debutante ball. Um, I say it's weird because the purpose of those balls is, like, very Victorian era. And it's effectively like, oh yeah, these girls are old enough now. Oh wow, iron bar. Nice. You know? Get introduced to society. It, it's strange. It's weird. But no one was really into it. It was, like, a very low percentage of people were actually into that stuff. Because they wanted you to just rent an expensive suit. And there was just so much rules, you had to go to rehearsals and things. But you dress all fancy and then it's just like, yeah, it's, it's a dance. I don't know. Oh. I did not go. Instead, we had a, a party the same night as the dead ball. And uh, yeah, it was better. Spent like a fraction of what I would have spent there, and had a much better time. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep the initial ones. I'll go with this because this will free up an inventory spot. Uh, okay. So I need to give Demetrius his seaweed. It's the final day, so I need to make sure I do it. Tomorrow is Pam's birthday. I'm reminding myself. Yeah, I mean, the dance wasn't like a normal dance where they play music that we're all into. It was... Just, yeah, weird, man. I don't know how else to put it. But there were people into that. I can't believe I found a pot of gold in a hat. <laughs> it's so funny. Where's Demetrius? There he is. Here's your seaweed. Just friendship points, that's all I care about but also potential for uh, tickets. All right, uh, it's 6 p.m. I think I've done everything I kind of want to do for today, so I'm going to spend time fishing because pickaxe is not around. So, it's just to get some more money. I'm trying to think what else, like, we have here that might be a bit different. But yeah, like, I guess differences to America, we don't do the prom. Um, when it comes to college, 
I guess, university. There's no fraternity culture here. It's just non-existent. And we don't wear... At least I see this on TV. It's just like, when you go to college, you wear your school's colors and, you know, the school that you went to, it's like all branded. Like, nah, no, no one does that. <laughs> That's... They tried to do that here at the university I went to. They were selling clothing that was branded after the university and dude, no one wore that. It was funny. I barely acknowledge the fact that I went to university. That's a bundlefish, right? I'm pretty sure it is. That's what I was after. I mean, let's caught a couple fish. I'll go donate this. I don't think I have anything else to donate right now. Uh, but I'm going to spend the rest of the energy chopping wood because I have my axe back. And now it'll take less energy to chop. once that's later I'm on top of the fishing everything is good all right Pam there's two things you can do you can buy her a beer at the bar she loves the beers if you want to max out that relationship pretty quickly, just buy her a beer. But it's like 500 gold, which eh. I'll just get her something else. So, the cops don't really sell for that much. I'm keeping them. We can do better stuff with it later. Um, I mean, I need to make a chest where I'm just throwing general junk in there. Okay, uh, let's load this up again. I got the trash bag. I didn't go to the beach to refill my crab pots. I should have. That's the downside of having the crab pots down there is just, I don't generally put that many, unless you're doing a lot of fishing there. I'll have to make sure I go there tomorrow. But the reason you want them there is just to get the, uh, the different kind of crab pot stuff or uh, the collections area. Once you've got them all, then just move them to somewhere more convenient. Once you have the uh, copper X, you can break these as well. So I'm gonna do that. Just to help clear out the farm a bit more. Just stone. It's okay. 
get another garbage bag. And bedtime. Alright. Okay. Sprinkler, mayo machine. I mean, this sprinkler... Have I played Twiles of Mana? No. But I've seen someone play it. <laughs> That's why I said it that way. I don't like it. I, I, I don't know, I haven't played it. I just... They were making fun of the way Charlotte was voiced in that game. At least the remake of it. I haven't played the original. Gold gets sold. Um, so, I mean, it's almost at the point now where... It's, uh... Stuff that's going to get pickled. So, I start holding on to things that are just base quality. Hmm, I might have to go buy stuff. Yeah, I don't have an opinion on Trials of Mana. I've just watched it, that's all. It was an entertaining watch. So many games in the world and only so much time when you do this as like a hobby. Actually put it in this one. Okay, uh, what is it like? Seven? I think it's seven crab pots I have. I have four here and then three at the beach. Okay. Some games have to be played twice. Yeah. Some games do have to be played twice to be appreciated more. It's like with Majora's Mask. I'm sure I'll appreciate that game a lot more the second time around. I liked it. But I'm sure I'll like it even more the second time around. It's just something that'll grow on me. I played it only once. Yeah, I didn't have a Nintendo 64 growing up. I only played it last year. I guess it was just, I don't know, just one of those games that kind of slipped away. I mean, I didn't play Wind Waker until last year either, so, you know. Multiple things that I hadn't played. I didn't bring a gift for Pam. But that's okay. I can hopefully find one along the way. But 
again, that comes down to I didn't have a GameCube. And I guess both of those games, I heard mixed things about it from just friends that... So Majora's, in the group of friends that I had growing up, it was like... They either hated it or they loved it. There was no in-between. And then with Wind Waker, it was like... Everyone I knew was disappointed in that game when it got announced. But then afterwards, they liked it. I mean, Nintendo showed off, like, a demo for the GameCube that had a realistic-looking Link. And then when they announced Wind Waker, it's just like this cartoon thing. And back then, it was still a case of the only way a game had good graphics was, like, if it went realistic. If it was cartoony or pixel graphics, they were considered old or bad graphics, which thankfully that's not a thing anymore. Imagine saying Wind Waker had bad graphics, like, come on, man. For its time, that was impressive. Wind Waker's fun. It has a good sense of humor, that game. I was a fan of, um... Phantom Hourglass, so I played that before Wind Waker. So, it made me understand where all the cartoon stuff came from. But also get a new appreciation for it. I think Clint's ready, right? Yeah, it's not. But one thing they've changed is you can use this shop while he's... while he's working on stuff, so that's nice. It's like, man. I'm surprised that wasn't in the game sooner. Friendships going. How have I not found something on the ground? Oh, she's on. Wow, I have a choice. Haley or uh, Leah. Okay, there we go. That's what we'll do. I'm gonna go fishing in the ocean. But I need to go home. Gotta leave? That's well, all good. Well, enjoy the rest of your day, Miss Air. See ya. Wait, Pam's not here? I thought she usually gets there early. I've never actually caught her at home, at least from memory. I don't even know where she hangs out. Mm, maybe it might be time to consult the wiki on this one. One sec. It's easier to track her later. Oh, she hangs out at the Joja Mart. She's going to leave the Joja Mart now.
Okay, right, cool. That works. Birthdays are a big deal. So far, haven't missed a single one. There's another one in a couple days. Whose is it? It's Shane's. I think I'm doing an excellent job on this file so far. <laughs> just... But I guess it's because there's no pressures of time, really. Or having to think on my feet. I can stop and look stuff up if I want to. the outfit I have on. It's kind of funny. Oh, I didn't buy seeds. What am I going to do? He has his closed. Um, I could gamble. No, these. These will do. No gambling. Just plant these. This is fine. There we go. Not wasted. It's probably better for me that I don't buy seeds anyway. Okay, I am ready to go fishing. sit here and chill. Mm -hmm. I don't really have much else I can do whilst the pickaxe is away. But, you know, money is important right now, so I'm going to save. That's fine. Need more seaweed anyway. This is good, I'm getting, yeah, nothing below gold now.
But tomorrow, pickaxe will be ready. And I gotta go traveling merchant, which hopefully coffee will be on sale. I'm hopeful. It's something you do want to try and get early. Because it's going to help in the long run. <laughs> he moves quickly suddenly. It's because I'm in his way. Few more casts and I'll head home. I almost lost it. Okay, that's a Gunther artifact. I did the most I could. Hey, <laughs> pick it up. Uh, I don't have things that are let you pick up things easier. Okay, so all of this gets sold. Grab this, put another piece of garbage. There we go. Should I... Yeah, I'll smell. There we go. Ooh. Missed the fish. <laughs> Alright. Bait maker. Haven't made that yet. All right, I mean, decent. <laughs> Weather report, clear and sunny, okay. There it is, so cauliflower for Jody, that's easy. We can do that today. Um, since I'm going to Clint's, I'm going to bring geodes and anything I want cracked open. Where did I put the boxes? Here they are. Okay. What else do I want to do? Caroline needs another gift. Go 
get rid of my lost trash bag. Oh yeah, there's nine of these geodes. Alright, cool. So there's enough to do. Okay. Um, and watering can comes out again. Bait. Seven pieces of bait. Do I want anything else? Hmm, nah. anything to replace this stuff with yet. So I might get lucky at the traveling merchant and get coffee. Alright. Can go in immediately. Hang on, that shouldn't be in there. Okay, uh, the rice is just gonna get sold. Oh, I didn't water the cat's bowl. Become something <laughs> I need to get into the mindset of doing. I'm not used to it. Can't buy it anyway, but that is a big deal, that one. Oh well. That is usually one of the harder bundle items to get, which is, you know, the reason I was getting a barn is to get to pigs quick. good with collecting fiber and stuff as well, so. Oh, right, down here. Spring onion. I do find it funny that, like, I'm giving out spring onions. <laughs> That's a way to improve relationship.
probably get a cutscene. Cal, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Click. Right there. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. That was my ex. I guess I'd better tell you a little about it. We had an apartment back in the city, did odd jobs during the day, spent all night working on art projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. It was only, he was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life, you know, a house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of things. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Chrono, so I had to leave. So I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. Which begs the question, how does she pay for this place? Unless it's like a family sort of thing. Anyway. It had to be done. Alright, I just wouldn't have been happy back there. Better for the both of us to end an unsustainable relationship while we were still young and flexible. Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about that art show idea you had. I'm working on some new sculptures to display at the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with making Saudi Valley a premier art destination. And kicks me back out the house when I was here to actually talk. Like that. Garbage. He's gonna see me. Alright, just making a pit stop here first. Still not one of the unique ones. I'm gonna be back and forth between Clint's and the museum. Okay, that's that. What's in the box? Teleport to mountain totem, that's useful. Damn! Very useful. Am I already out of space? I'm already out of space. This is going to be a little irritating. Okay, so, you know, doesn't say Gunther, sell it. That's new. Like, I have to optimize this a little, like, otherwise I'm going to be here forever. I'm going to eat these. Donate. 
What's the reward? Star fruit seed. Alright, cool. Oh, Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Okay. Bream for a dessert you're making, Sebastian. Okay, well, we do have a bream. Do have to head up there, so that's fine. Okay, uh, this is a present. Uh, where is it? Bream, 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 bream. Didn't I keep a bream? I thought I did. I may have given... Hmm. Okay, I can catch one. They're no biggie. Alright, put this here. I mean, this is nice just to get a little bit of lighting. That'll do. Let me just double check one more time. He's gonna be at the bar, well, at the saloon tonight, so you can catch him then. Just double make. Make sure I'm not missing any birthdays. No, Shane's is tomorrow. Okay. I have to, like, constantly reassure myself. Oh, right. Um, replacement seeds. I didn't get anything. And maybe... I can always plant the uh, mixed seeds. It's fine. Sure. I'll hang out here. Still be a little bit of time before I can catch it. Okay. 
Okay. I might sell the Iridium Cop. And the other Cop is like, that doesn't sell for much. Cop is good for any recipe that involves fish. It's just inexpensive fish, easy. Generic inexpensive fish. Dream should start appearing at 7, so hopefully we can get one quickly. Just go give it to Sebastian. Part of the engineer's bundle. Mm -hmm. I can swing past and donate that while I'm at it. I don't know what kind of dessert would involve fish. It's a bit weird, but there are weird quests in this that. I mean, maybe I'm just unaware. catch him on the way home as well. I just kind of wanted to get there whilst everyone was still around. Might be right. Oh, yeah, it's a river, not mountain lake. That's my bad. I'm thinking of the midnight cop. Well, that's easy enough to adjust. I can try to catch one here, and then catch him on the way home. Doesn't have to be a good quality one, just has to... Ooh, they're on their way. Come on. Come on. Well, this is just bad RNG. Ugh. 
Oh, he's here. Okay, come on. Don't go anywhere. I might still have a chance. No, I don't have a chance now. I'll still sit here and catch it. Then I have it tomorrow. It's fine. As long as I have the fish in hand. At this point, I may as well try and catch another one. Really? Alright, I got two. That's fine. I got six coal, I'll take that. It's excellent. Right, I'll just go drop off this fire quartz. Whilst I am here. I mean, I can almost do that. Fire quartz is usually something you get way later, so that's kind of nice. The only thing really there that's a pain to get is the iridium ore, but... I could potentially get that through a lucky round of fishing. I didn't go deliver Jody the cauliflower. It got auto stacked back, so I didn't bother. Gotta do it tomorrow. So, I mean, I'm keeping the cheap fish. Carp is the cheap fish, and then put these away. Um, let me do an old switcheroo. There we go. Kinda wild, I already have gold. Um, let's just go in here. Put that on hand. Seven pieces of bait. Alright, we're good. Oh, I forgot the, the seeds. Where'd I put them? They should be here. Wait, am I out of them? No, they're here. For some reason. Just so I'm growing something. Okay, one sec. Tappers. Okay, and mushroom log. Want well, both those things. All right. We'll work on the morning stuff and then. Oh, there's more. I think I do want to buy it. seeds. I'm keeping the carrots. You know what? No, just plant these. It's fine. I 
Okay. These will pay off eventually. Again, it's like a food source or you sell sashimi. set up one two three one two three okay um so we want this we want this and two three okay so we got the three pipes Apparently, I don't water that spot. Uh, one. So, I mean, initially, it doesn't matter. Too much. But I'm gonna pick the trees. Okay, so one on this one, one on this one. Just gonna make sure this is clear. Then what's the nearest maple? Is that one? All right, got it. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing that could potentially damage this nearby. Okay, so today is Shane's birthday. Right, before I set this up, now... Let me do this. One, two, three. One, two. Apparently not allowed. Three. And one, two. Alright, another thing I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna make a mushroom farm. I'm gonna use the rest of them. I need to bring the bream for the edgelord. Okay, so... That should do for now. I should be able to get more, but... Creating a bunch of trees. Alright. 
might even be able to set it up here, potentially. At least to begin with. Okay, so what's involved in this? Moss, I don't have moss yet. Okay. But by the time I can acquire moss, it'll, it'll be fine. So, I mean, Shane, we'll see what we can dig up. You can purchase a pizza. I think he likes pizza. I'll look it up. I know Poppers is like a bar food. Let me look this up now. Shane. So he likes pepper poppers and pizza, which you can purchase from, um, yeah, from the bar. So I mean, same with pizza, it's like, we'll find the cheaper one. But that one's worth purchasing because it's kind of annoying. And also you can get blue chickens with him, so. A worthwhile thing. Well, I was kind of hoping to play multiplayer today, but it probably won't happen. back here, Willie. Herring, Harvey. That should go back for that because I think he's just hanging outside and hopefully he won't leave. Um, okay. What's the cheapest one? It's expensive for a pizza. But I think it's worth it. Because I want them blue chickens. Don't eat it. Oh, I've already gifted it to us. Okay, well, that's fine. He'll be at the Doja Mart. There he is. He's going home, unfortunately. Oh, he's not here. I thought he's working. Okay, Pam, calm down. Hang on. Let me see where he is so I'm not messing around. Um, where is he on Saturdays? Okay, so he's heading to the saloon soon. Let me check Harvey. If it's worth going home for the herring. Yeah, he's just gonna hang out at his house. It would appear. So there's no point. I'll look into him tomorrow. Okay, I'll be able to catch Shane here. Oh, 
It's this cutscene. Welcome to PS, how can I help you? I don't know why the camera's all the way down here. I feel like it's in the wrong spot. <laughs> like it should be down here. 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%? I mean, they both do dodgy things. Can't match those prices, it'd be selling a loss. See, now that it fixes itself, like, this is where it should be. Oh, there he is. I'm like, he should be in here. Okay, good. Yeah, three hearts. Good stuff. All right, um, I need to go mountains, so I'll probably head into the mines. I need to give the Edge Lord his fish. Oh, he's not here. Wait. Uh... I might need to see where he is. Sebastian... I bet he's practicing. Uh... One sec. Saturday. He's gonna leave Sam's house now, so he's hanging out with Sam. I've been on top of these quests. Fish makes a dessert. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Jody's cauliflower. Forgot about it again. Keep forgetting. Welcome to the struggle of starter. I don't think I can get in there, but we'll see. Oh, okay. There's your cauliflower. Um, and then what's Harv's request? Herring, but that can wait tomorrow. I think I'm doing well, all things considered. Still none of the unique ones, but I'll keep going. 
All right. Probably catch a new herring with us. halibut. Mm -hmm. I mean, goals have been done for this week. I got my tools upgraded now it's just I'm gonna work towards the barn it's gonna be a heavy focus towards the barn that herring lost book speaking of books I haven't been lucky enough to find one of the experience books what level is my fishing anyway It's level 6. I mean, if it becomes level 7, I could probably catch Legends. It might be in the cards. It'd be interesting if I could pull that off. It would just have to rank. I could probably do it. If it hits level 7... Wouldn't that be something? The situation I didn't think would pan out might pan out. This will be the last fish. At the very least, Gus's should be checked as food. stuff just keep it all right sunny day so the only thing tomorrow I believe is traveling merchant let's take a look at the calendar yep 
there's two more birthdays next week, Pierre and Emily, but don't have to worry about that yet. Bring the sauce, fried salad. Let's check the weather report. Sunny again. Okay. Cheese cauliflower. Pepper pop is from Shane. I mean, I'm just going to add ambient lighting around the place. I have to go buy some seeds. I don't think I can get away with mixed seeds now. So the strawberries, I tend to keep all of them initially. Just because they're beneficial. Um, same with carrots, just starting to hang on to things. Because soon I'll be able to start um, pickling things. I think we're due for another chest. Okay, now I'm gonna move mining stuff across. sometimes. Okay, um, I need more bait. Okay, seven pieces of bait. Retaining soil is nice initially. Just slightly less effort. Alright, let me see what I have in terms of seeds. Doesn't say. I mean, I'll, I guess I'll go buy some. I need to take the herring to Harvey. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. Traveling merchant. Alright. Also missed a crab pot by the looks of it. So, I mean, the reason I made tappers the moment I got them, and you want to put one on every tree, is just because you need the stuff that they produce to make um, things that process food later. So, one per tree is enough initially, but then you want to lean more towards oak and maple. Not these ones, because pine tar is not that useful. Not really a whole lot you can do with it. Compared to the other two. Okay. 
Yeah, nothing interesting. Oh, okay. Random salmon berry there. Sometimes that'll happen. Just didn't magnetize to me. Leah's give her this. It's like, it's a good present for her. That's funny. It's like, I'm going to form a relationship based on spring onions. close. Almost got caught. Okay, we need to go see Harvey. He's either here or in his office. Or up there. He is in his office. Well, here. Okay, here's the herring you wanted. I got a prize ticket. Nice. I'm wondering when I'd get another one. Flower seeds. That'll be useful for next season. That's something new they've added, this patch. Um, I don't know if Caroline's here, but... I'm gonna get... That should do. Should cover me for the rest of the season. Nice. You can only enter their rooms when you're enough friends with them, so... Good. Getting there. I'm gonna go down to the beach and just quickly... Do some fishing. Oh, crabs. Nice. It's a start. So. I need. Mussel. Prawn. And oyster. Oh, and lobster. So there's, there's still a few. It sucks that foraging doesn't count. Like, it has to come from a crab pot for it to count as caught. Which is strange, but yeah, that's just what it is. So I'm, I'm doing the fish and... I guess in the interest of chasing legend, like, maybe I can do it. But also, money-making. Iron ore, okay.
I do have another herring, so I'll probably place it. I mean, I don't know how much I got left to level up, but if I can get it done, it means if it rains in the next few days, I can go after Legend. It is doable, it's just very difficult to pull off. Don't you need fishing ten? Yes. But with the uh, new slime, that gives plus three to fishing. So you just need fishing seven. And then the slime, which I do have. So, it is doable. It's a Gunther artifact. Too late to go donate it. It's a good one to get, though. Would be nice if it worked out. out of energy. I'll eat some of these. Okay. Q. 
keep going. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna rain tomorrow, so it's like I still have the chance to do it. do so much more fishing <laughs> when time isn't of the essence. Again, if you don't like fishing, the alternate path is you're doing more with your crops and um, you're kind of going in the mines a bit more and leading towards auto automation with farming. So getting sprinklers so you don't have to water as much, which will in turn let you go in the mines more. And that's what you'd be doing if you weren't fishing. There you go, that thing. Oh, it's only plus one to fishing. What's the plus three to fishing? See, dish of this. there's like a dish that gives you plus three to fishing. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but I know there's an item that gives you plus three to fishing. Well, legend aside, this is still the way for me to make money right now. Before I ramp up. Dish of the Deep, I believe it's called. Which I think you get them from one of the bundles. But that's probably not till later. The thing is I have caught Legend in season, in the first spring season. But you have to be fishing basically every day at that point to do it. Like just completely ignore the mines and just go for fishing. Which you can do. But I'm trying to keep this buried, so I'm doing a bit of everything. But, I mean, I would probably just pick two things and focus on it. Instead of trying to cast a wide net. Alright, this is going to be the last cast. out of here. Um, so I'm gonna get this bridge repaired, because for some of that's what the legendary fish is. I just kind of put it off initially, because it's like, eh, it's not that big a deal. But now that I'm heading into summer, I should do it. Yeah, so... Flower Dance, and then Pierre and Emily. This might be the first time I get every birthday in a season. Okay, let me just get rid of the fish first. Hold on. Keep one, and then the rest can go. Oh yeah, mining's in here now. 
always smell before going to bed. goes in crab pot here. Alright. I'm good. Okay, I had to check that in the morning. Weather report. Sunny. Okay. B house, which we can make. Farmer's launch. Speed grow. Level 7 fishing. So I need to get to level 7 fishing. So if I can get like a dish of the deep, <laughs> I could do it. I paint 15k. Not bad. Um, alright. So each of these VODs, I'm going to try to make it, like, a week of in-game. I think that's, like, a nice duration. So I'll leave this VOD to here for now. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. I did this live, so there'll probably be, like, more here on Twitch if you're watching now. But, um, for now on YouTube, this is where we say goodbye. But if you have found any of this useful or, you know, you're enjoying it, let me know. In the comments it'll let me do to more it'll let me know to do more of it sorry it's late at night here um but i'm gonna probably do this a bit erratically so it might be a bit of a gap before the next one anyway if you do want to support the content over on youtube you know what to do do things like click the like button subscribe or you can watch me play other things by clicking one of those videos but uh we'll see more of this soon i'm sure